other stuff around track that I wanted to cover. Um, the next thing I wanted to cover was asset blocks. This won't take very long. So, with asset blocks, um, what we uh, what you can do is uh, so asset blocks are in there for have uh, been in there for a while actually, um, and they were square. So you drop this asset block in. Looks a bit like a decal. And you can say in there what you want on it. So you, this looks quite cool. You can put that in there. You can say, actually, let's have um, Bush Hawthorne mid group. Ooh, hello. That's probably a bit too much. <laughs> um, Bush Hawthorne near. There you go. There's. So we can put some stuff in there. You can have a second one in there as well. Uh, let's do bush hedge large near there you go so there you go we can put some stuff in this uh, one says are they all uniform or are they randomly turned uh, this I think is the scale so you can set sort of so that they're actually all different sizes now um, so or you can set that to 0 0.5 so you can control how much either side so you can create a little bit of variation in the height as well rather than them all being um, f a f sort of a single flat area and what you can do is you can then extend it and it will just keep um, moving that along. So if you've got large gray, large areas of greenery that you want to have in your route, then that's a really quick way of doing it. The other major benefit is, uh, using a little bit of technical jargon, that entire group of trees is rendered in one cycle. Um, it's one, one step that does the whole lot. Whereas if you were to lay all of these trees individually, then individually they'd each take one cycle. So if you start building up big dense forests it starts getting incredibly um, costly whereas if you do something like this it's uh, I'm just double clicking on the on the on these deck this area by the way uh, if you do something like that then this means that you can make massive areas of forest significantly it's not free but you can make it significantly um, cheaper um, you can sort of uh, adjust the uh, that's it, the number of them is here. So if I add a zero to that, you can see that's got... Now, you can see my frame rate has dropped, but that is a lot of assets. <laughs> so if I uh, drop that off there and put five, that's already a lot easier on the frame rate. And that's still a tremendous number of, of assets. Um, and by changing the randomness, you can, you can make it significantly. I would not recommend you use that many assets. That's a ridiculous number of assets. But still, the point is there. Um, I've been able to render this really quite quickly. So, that is the square asset block. Let me just set that back to a number which isn't going to slaughter my frame, right? Um, and we will come over here. There's another version of it which is actually added, I think, in 2015. This is the irregular asset block. So everyone, when they first started using this, was like, ah, oh, the asset block at all is really good. However, what if... I want to put trees in this area here. Yeah, so let's do something. With the asset block tool, you'd have to put in, what you do is you'd overlap squares effectively. But with this one, what you can do is you just draw the boundary. Um, you just draw the boundary. So you see that blue pin there. So we put a pin down. Um, and then we can put another pin down. And we can put um uh, another pin down and we put another pin down and another pin and another pin and another pin i think we're probably going a bit too high definition i don't because it's only really a a fairly coarse boundary uh and you can put that in there now if i'm going to right click you can see i've got a nice boundary marked out here now if i double click in that boundary trees or in this case signs <laughs> have appeared so if i pick some trees um, bush misc one. There you go. There's bush misc one. Uh, and then let's put something else. Is there a grass or something we can use? Let's use a grass cluster in the first one. And there you go. So we've got two different types of assets there. And you can see that 
they're not going anywhere that I haven't asked them to and I can pick up these uh, this and I can move it around and it will change where it goes um, and again just as before I can change it to be where it's uniform or spiraled I can then change it to the, say that I want significantly more assets in that area so you can create these um, uh, areas really quite effectively I think this controls the split between them yeah this can so if you want fewer bushes and more grass then you can just adjust this over here so that's the um, Sorry, I'm not really looking at the uh, the chat at the moment, but uh, um, someone said, "Do you use this message for doing fields? Fields is fields, forests, all sorts of things you can use this for. Because you could make this using grass. You could have two or th two different types of grass, um, and then you can uh, um, uh, you can sort of create a lot of variety on the, along the line side, for example. And again, this asset block, you're getting all of these." for significantly less cost than if you were to lay all of these and the fact that you haven't had to lay all of these things let's be honest that's uh that's a good thing not having to lay all those assets so you can see there but by using those tools this area of the route instantly becomes a little bit less barren um than it was before um we've also got this thing here is the scaling thing so let's just put one in there so again when i'm looking down the route here everything is not quite uh the same scale apparently that one's flying but we won't look too closely at that. Uh, I think it's just because these assets aren't meant to scale very well. So some assets will work better, some assets won't. Uh, do you want to use this for creating water? Nope, we're going to do water in a minute. Right. This is asset blocks. That really is all there is to asset block. Um, my route is getting bigger, isn't it? This is this is my demo route, except you can't see anything else, but never mind. Um <laughs> Right, so <laughs> that's asset blocks. If anyone's got any questions, then drop me a Twitch message or something, and then I will try and answer them, um, uh, uh, probably in another time. Right, moving swiftly on, it's time for waterways. So one of the questions I've had...